Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to show you guys some do's and don'ts on how to correctly apply eyeshadow. Now I know eyeshadow can be a little bit intimidating but there are definitely ways to make it look flawless and make it last all day. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. I hope this is something you're interested in and please keep on watching. So the first thing and the absolutely most important thing as well is to start out using an eyeshadow primer. You can use a finger, you can use a brush, whatever you're more comfortable with. Just make sure you cover the entire lid. all the way out to the corner. Make sure there are no creases, of course. And then the next step is you wanna set that with a powder. It can be an eyeshadow powder, it can be a translucent powder. I personally prefer to go in with a translucent powder just to set it. And priming your eyelids is just gonna help your eyeshadow go on a lot smoother. You can already tell the difference right now on the two eyes, the one we put on the primer and the one that we didn't. This eye is still greasy because we didn't apply any powder. And when your eyelid is greasy, it's not gonna allow the eyeshadow to really blend in nice. And that's the reason why we start uh, out by using an eyeshadow primer. And it's very important to go in using a natural eyeshadow in the crease. Even if you go ahead and cover that up, it's just important that you get, go in with a few natural natural ones to start out with so that the transition is not so harsh and of course brushes are very very important as well but I'm not gonna go into detail with brushes in this video I do have a video up on my favorite brushes so if you're interested in that please go check it out and because we applied the eyeshadow primer to begin with it just makes the eyeshadow go on nice and smooth and that would be your first transition color. So what you don't wanna do is start out going into the crease with a darker color. Even if that's the color you end up with, you still wanna go in lighter because once you go in dark, it's very hard to blend it out and it's just gonna look really, really harsh. And as you can tell, it's very hard to blend this out because I didn't apply the primer first. and it's not gonna have that nice gradual fade. You can tell how patchy this eyeshadow is applying. And especially if you deposit too much color, you're just gonna have it all over the lid to begin with and it's gonna be really hard to work with. So now on the right eye, I'm using the same shadow that we used on the left eye, just to show you guys the transition. This goes on much softer and much smoother because we already laid down a lighter color to begin with. So this just makes them blend in together. And you can even dip back into the lighter color just to really blend the two colors together. And next up, when going in on the lid using shimmer shadows such as these right here. When working on the lid space, it's important that if you're working with a shimmer shadow that you either apply a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to your brush such as this one right here, or you use your finger, which is what I tend to do. If I want the eyeshadow to really pop, I use my brush and I spray it with some MAC Fix Plus just to make the eyeshadow really pop. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. I just use my finger and distribute that all over the lid, or at least from the inner to the middle part. Your finger just really helps the pigmentation to shine through versus going in on a dry brush, especially when using the shimmer shadows. And using your finger versus using a brush, the brush is still okay, but using your finger is definitely gonna make the eyeshadow pop a lot more than using a dry brush, as you can tell, I'm sure, right here in the video. 
So if you want your eyeshadow really to pop, I suggest using your finger or spraying your brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And a little tip and a little trick that I like to use when applying eyeshadow, especially when working with darker colors. And the powder just helps the eyeshadow from getting way too messy and also it creates like a nice cat eye effect right here without applying a liner. And even when you want a nice dark outer corner, it's important to go in with a lighter shade first. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is still very dark. And we're gonna leave that on the outer corner like that. And that's also going to help, of course, blend those two together. You don't want to have that harsh line in between the shimmer shadow and the mattes. We drag that inward a little bit. And working with darker colors, you always, always want to go in light-handed. It's very hard to clean up dark eyeshadow. It's better that you go in lighter and we can build it up. And it's always important to keep that um, brush that we use for the crease handy because it's important to go back and forth and blend all the colors together. We do not want any harsh lines. And then to darken that up even further, we dip it into this really dark color right here. It's an almost black with a brown undertone. And we're leaving that right there on the corner. And the common mistake on the left eye, of course, is that you go straight into that dark color right there. You deposit way too much color. And then you add that on the outer corner. And right there, it's just so hard to blend out because we put way too much eyeshadow on and it's too dark. So it just basically covers up everything that we did and not in a good way. So you're just left with way too much eyeshadow on the lid and nowhere to put it. And now you try to go out and create that little bit of cat eye effect, but without the powder, it's definitely a lot harder to make it nice and even. You can tell there's just no transition really from color to color, it's just one big mess. All the eyeshadow is just looking very, very patchy. And we have all the fallout underneath here, of course. And now to highlight your brow bone, it's important that you use a smaller brush just so you have control of where you put that highlight. So I dip the brush into the highlighter and I just add a little bit of that to the brow bone. And of course you want to choose a highlighter that's a little bit in the same color family as the eyeshadows. When working with golden shades like we're doing right now, you don't want your highlighter to be a stark white. Again, the transition is just not going to be very flattering. And we add that a little bit to the inner corner as well. And now on the left eye, we're going in with a way too big of a brush. And also with a way, way too light highlight. You can see that first of all, the colors do not complement each other and it's just a big mess. And you don't have that nice gradual ray of colors. And now we go ahead and brush that away. And you can tell in the left eye that we're left with a lot of fallout from that dark shadow right there that we couldn't blend out. Of course, don't worry too much if it does happen. You can always clean that up, but it's just easier when you prepare for something like that. And I'm not gonna apply a lot of concealer on her. It's just important that when you're working on the bottom lashes that you again, like on the top, have a foundation underneath, a concealer with some powder, Again, to make the bottom lashes, the eyeshadow on the bottom lashes apply nice and evenly. And again, like on the top, 
we set that with some translucent powder. And of course, just to be fair, let's clean up this eyeshadow mess that we have underneath. And on the bottom lashes, we're basically repeating the steps that we did on the top lid. We're going in with a very neutral shade. And it's very important that you're using a smaller brush when working on the bottom lash line. You don't want to go in with a big fluffy brush. And even if you don't want the bottom lash line to really have a lot of eyeshadow on, it's still important that you don't leave it bare because you do want to have a cohesive look and you want the eyeshadows to be blended together, especially right here on the outer corner. So you want to connect those two so you don't have that harsh line right here where the eyeshadow just stops. And then using the same brush, we're going in on just a little bit of a darker color to deepen that up a little bit further. And then for the outer corner, I'm using a flat definer brush like this one. And I'm just adding a little bit. Okay. And we're leaving that right here on the outer corner, very close to the lash line. connecting those two right here and then I go back into that fluffy brush and I just blend it all together And just to give you guys an example, this is what happens to your eyeshadow after hours of wear when you don't apply the eyeshadow primer to begin with. It starts building up and you're left with those creases on the eyelids. And in comparison to the right eye, where we actually use the eyeshadow primer to begin with, you can see a huge improvement in the eyeshadow and this is ultimately what you want your eyeshadow to look like all day long. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, have a great day or night wherever you guys are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!